there we go ladies and gentlemen yeah first game between grubby and wizard will be played on good old terina's stand and yeah old it is uh, it definitely is um because of course it's not the latter version and um, yeah as you probably can see uh, we have a little plateau here, which was pretty annoying for um, the players starting at the top position because uh, it was possible to drop um, demolishers there, and um, yeah, you could re really easily attack um, the gold mine. Um, very, um, yeah, successfully um, done by orc players with the blade master as a scout to get the vision here. And uh, even some under players did it with um, some weed wagons in a shade here, so they could attack um, the entangled gold mine pretty easily. But uh, yeah, let's see how this game will turn out, or if we are going to see something like this. We have the two players. We have the good old 4K Grubby on the bottom right. He's starting with the Blade Master as his first hero. Um, plants his barracks in his main base and is going for the second orc borrow before the tech. So pretty standard orc opening right here. And in the top left we have wizard and uh, yeah, <laughs> I have to excuse my walker free. Uh, I even reinstalled it today, but we are still having this weird uh, building bug. But um, yeah, it's only during the construction phase when they are finished. They are fully up and operational. So um, yeah, we are seeing the demon hunter for wizard and interestingly enough uh, we see the ancient of war uh, in the main base of the night of player gravi even scouted uh, the goblin laboratory spot but yeah wizard did not decide to plant his tree there to um, start this game off with an um, aw creep and um, yeah therefore demon hunter straight running for the orc player which is going for the mercenary camp. He's pulling out the creeps, and with the grunt, he's getting his first uh, merc. And it's the for it's the Moloch Huntsman. As you can see, we have a different mercenary camp than nowadays, and the Moloch Huntsman, famous for his ensnare. So um, yeah, pretty cool um, creep to get right away. A grunt here, already taking a lot of damage. Um, Blade Master. On the other side, is trying to deal some damage of his own, attacking the archer of wizard, and should be successful in killing her. Uh, unless we're seeing a block, no, no chance for a block right here. First kill and first blood for Grubby, and wizard strictly taking to tier two, and blade master is going in to harass some of the wood wisp. First wisp gets attacked, but immediately healed up at the moon will. Grubby not getting mana burned by the demon hunter and um, yeah therefore leaving the knight of base but just for a little while he's going back in again we have to the two grunts here and of course the almighty moloch huntsman and um which is actually kind of weird looking it's looking like he's wearing some blue pants or something We're under pretty weird but yeah that's how we roll on Torina stand in the year 2k5 um, both players at the shop at the moment. It was 19 o'clock already. Grubby got the dust of appearance. His opponent got the boots of speed. And um, yeah, therefore, at least for a little while, we have the speed advantage for the Night of player. Grubby's trying to creep the... Oh, the ogre spots. He's even able to get the Gondos of Ogre's Ramp, even though it looked like that the Demon Hunter would get it. Uh, Murloc has been killed by Wizard's Demon Hunter, but the Wizard... Yeah, the Moloch got one and snare off, so Grubby could revenge his death with an archer kill and probably a second one if the Blade Master goes in. But nice block here by a wizard. Um, blocking the Blade Master, so uh, the hurt archer gets away. Let's see what Grubby is doing. His grunt is pretty hurt, but the Demon Hunter is quickly. The block was not so successful. Oh, but the Demon Hunter now taking the. The other ground, but now going in for the kin, the kill. There we go. And um, yeah, this blade master is dealing a uh, the demon hunter is dealing a lot of damage. Take a look at those grunts, losing so many hit points. Oh, but the demon hunter now gets surrounded and is trapped here. And the next grunt comes out right in the uh, yeah, right in the middle 
of the surround, so to say, and uh, therefore the surround is closed and Demon Hunter is forced to TP out. So, yeah, nice building placement here by Grubby. Mm. With his Voodoo Lounge in the barracks and two grunts, he was able to trap the first Hero of the Night of player and force a TP. And tier 2 tech has finished for the good old Grubster. He's getting the Shadow Hunter as a We're second hero time. and is adding one beastery. His grunts in the meantime going for the Cobalt Tunnel recruit spot at uh, the bottom part of the map. Again, Guns of August Ramp plus three for the Blade Master. So um, yeah, a lot of hit points already on the Orc first hero. And Wizard also finishes tier 2 tech. He gets himself a Beastmaster and is going for two Ancients of Wind. And now we're seeing the famous um, tier 2 Orcboro harassment by Wizard, it seems like. Oh, he's going for the Grunts first. First Grunt pretty hurt, but he's getting away. Second uh, Grunt also able to get away, but the Focus Fire switched to the Blade Master. And Blade Master is in a little bit of trouble. Already used his first. Healing potion. The Shadow Hunter comes out of the altar. Demon Hunter gets killed, and the Blade Master gets away with two. No, he is not getting away. He gets killed by the last archer hit, and now two, both first heroes have been killed. And now two Grunts and the Shadow Hunter are fighting off those Night Elf units. But with the Cruel Beast, the damage output of Wizard is pretty high. So Grubby definitely needs to be careful. Hex is used once again on the archer, and the archer gets killed. One archer remaining. Grubby needs to micro this Grunt. Does it very good here. Next archer gets attacked. Grunt um, again on the focus fire. Next hex is used by the Shadow Hunter. And he gets the level up, level two for the Shadow Hunter already. And they're free, really, really hurt grunts in the main base of Grubby. And uh, the cool beasts are going in for some kills. Let's see if they're able to. The Orc Wars are fully loaded. And first Orc Bar first. Uh, cool Beast goes down, second one as well. The Grunt survive with 15 hit points. And uh, yeah, we're not seeing the healing wave. A second skill for Grubbies, Shadow Hunter. We are seeing Serpent Wards. Um, now, Clarity Potion for uh, the Shadow Hunter to healing selves already. Oh, free healing selves used on the Grunt. And the Night of Heroes just coming back in, trying to cancel those healing self. And the Cool Beast is really, really effective. It's able to cancel all the healing selves. So, yeah, that's 100 gold wasted for Grubby right here. But he's getting another healing self and yeah, providing the grunts with some hit point regeneration. Let's take a look at uh, the production buildings. We are seeing Raiders for Grubby. Um, Warmill. Now also up and running in the main base of Wizard. We are seeing Druids of the Talents, of course, and the tier 3 tech to about 60% finished. And um, yeah, um, nothing, uh, not much has changed, uh, you could say, in regard to the Night of Strategies. Still playing Mass Druids of the Talon. You are the baddest soul in town. Man. And oh, hey, Alexandra. With um, the resub, three months already. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dankeschön, Dankeschön, Alex. Freut mich wirklich sehr. And uh, yeah, let's take a look uh, at the game. Uh, what's going on with Wizards Heroes? He's going for um, his first real creep spot, if we could say so. He's going for the small kobolds. They're remaining. Gets himself a level up, level 2 Beastmaster. And uh, yeah, Grubby on the other side of the map is cramping, uh, is cramping, is creeping the mercenary camp. Gets himself a big potion uh, of mana, the greater mana potion. And uh, yeah, level 2.5 Shadow Hunter and a level 3 Blade Master. And Blade Master going for the Knight of Army once again. It's at the shop, the 12 o'clock position. Uh, what was a little bit too late for a group check, but gets himself two scrolls of healing, which is kind of nice, stealing the scrolls from the Night Elf. Level 2 attack. Demon Hunter, level 2 Beastmaster, tier 3 tech is finished. Master upgrade, almost ready. And uh, yeah, with that we will probably see the Night Elf first hero pre uh, third hero pretty soon, which I guess will be the Tinker. And Grubby in the meantime. Creeping with his army. Trying to get his Shadow Hunter up to level 3. And he will be successful. 
with the last kill. There we go, Apprentice Wizard goes down, level 3 for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, but our units are pretty low. Oh, and we're seeing the Fire Lord as a third hero for Wizard. So, um, yeah, some Lava Spawns for more damage output. There we go, first Lava Spawn goes up already. We'll be planted one Serpent Ward just to distract the Knight of a little bit. And we have two Demolishes now for Grubby. Um, he's getting some more healing self. Yeah, he's no dispel whatsoever. Now adding a Kodo Beast. And um, yeah, but the wizard is not going for the Orc Mambis just now. He's um, going for the Assassin's uh, Creep Spot at the top, the gold mine at the top right position. Um, which of course will give him another item, but not the level up yet. Let's see what's the item. Circle of Mobility goes to the Demon Hunter. And not sure if I'm a big fan of this creep route because Wizard probably would have had a good chance um, attacking the Orc main base right away, but uh, now it's turning around. And now Grubby's going on the offensive. Sandy Ward was been, has been placed um, by the good old Grubster, it seems like. Oh, no, by um, Short Round, uh, by Wizard. Kind of interesting that there's no name on it, but okay. And uh, yeah, it seems like we're getting our first big fight. One Druid of the Hunt gets hexed, focused, and killed. One Serpent Ward, pretty offensive, attacking the Lava Spawn and the Quill Beast. And uh, yeah, Grubby now with three Demolishers and a lot of Peons going in for the fight. Uh, immediate Cyclone on the first Raider of Grubby. One Grunt goes down. Kodo Beast also gets Cyclone, so no Aura. No, the Aura is still available for the Orc player. And uh, Beastmaster is getting attacked. Is in focus fight, but all the Orc units are up in the air. And the uh, Demolishers are getting repaired. Um, but the first one will probably go down in just a couple of moments. Uh, damage output, oh, is getting lower and lower for the Knight of Player. Because he's losing a lot of units. Now the Beastmaster is getting attacked. Demon Hunter goes down, Beastmaster goes down. The Knight of Player is losing everything here. Demolisher did a great job against those ranged units. Fire Lord also gets ensnared and killed. And it's looking like GG um, for... Wizard, it's looking like Grubby can pull through and with his um, yeah, Shadow Hunter now reached level 4 and with 3 Demolishers he can do so much damage and there we're also seeing some more mercs for Grubby, we see the Assassin, we see the Cobalt Geomancer and uh, yeah, Grubby now somewhat playing it safe, planting some Serpent Wards, getting his Demolishers in to get some damage out on the buildings. And probably going for the altar, I guess. Oh no, going for the Druids of the Talim. Two of them have two of them have been ensnared. One gets killed. The second one also gets destroyed right away. Now Grubby is going for some towers. Tries to finish off the Night Elf right away. And still no heroes out on the battlefield. Demon Hunter is still taking a while. And in the meantime, all the Druids of the Talon get killed. And that's a GG by Wizard.